What's up everyone? Hello, hello and welcome to Sunday with Ola number 46. Welcome guys. Hello, there's a camera down here. Shit. Look at Pro. Now, why is there a camera down here? Obviously because of this. This right here is the V1.6 Venter. I mean, the Venter series of uh, solo guitars has been uh, an incredible success based on, you know, the actual first Venter that uh, was out, that we released. And uh, this is the V version. So basically the same, pearl white finish, uh, Fishman Fluence pickups, every tune bridge. Hey, what's down? Uh, what's up down there? Stainless steel frets, the whole scamboozle of features right here in this guitar. It's just a, ugh, it's just a, thank you. Okay, maybe I should, okay, now that this camera has done its duty, I was thinking maybe we can move it around a little bit. Hello. Oh. How about this? Like an under crotch camera. Dude, shit. Look at that. My new angle. I hope you guys have your coffees ready. We're in for a Sunday with Ola right now. Let's just head on to it with the news. So let's start the news with talk about new albums from bands that I consider being very, very good. First news is that there might be a new Dream Theater in September already. What? John Petrucci has been busy as hell during the pandemic, releasing a solo album, a Liquid Tension Experiment album, that was great, uh, and grooming his beard. Mike Mangini, the drummer, is saying, I can only estimate that since we probably will release the record in September of this year, that people will probably hear something a certain amount of weeks before it comes out for promotion. Like a snippet. Wow. So this summer is probably when a new song will be released. Well, that's how marketing works. You release an album, you release singles up until that point. So that's cool. As always, I'm excited. It's a new dream theater. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan. You guys know that, and uh, I'm just basically looking forward to anything that John Petrucci puts his name onto. And this album is also gonna uh, feature an eighth string for the first time in Dream Theater history. That worries me more than making me excited, to be honest. But it's gonna be interesting to see what they come up with. So there you go. That's Dream Theater. New Dream Theater this year, man. Holy shit. If there's one good thing about the pandemic is that there's a lot of bands, obviously they can't tour, so they write music instead and release albums. That's good for us, you know? Just saying, but obviously I can't wait to uh, go out and watch a show again. Oh shit, this is my hand. Can you see this? <laughs> I hit my desk so hard, there's now a handprint on there. And with that also, Meshuga have entered the studio. Now, Meshuga are just slightly a little bit like Tool, not as extreme as Tool, but they do take their time writing albums. So hearing that there's a new Meshuggah album coming probably this year, that makes me really excited. You know, Meshuggah are always kind of pushing the bar of uh, what other bands will copy. <laughs> so I'm really excited to hear something new from Meshuggah. They're just on the forefront with a lot of things and they have been ever since they, you know, started. If you go back, listen to like Destroy, Erase, Improve and you know, the the albums during the 90s. I mean, that stuff sounds modern today, even more modern than a lot of other bands out there. So, Meshuggah, man. Also, you know, I know Kent is in the studio with them. So, uh, let's see, there's a picture. Meshuggah, that's a drum kit right there. That's nice. Last, uh, last album was released 2016. So, uh, with my good math, that's five years ago. So that's, that's, yeah, that's good. That's good right there. So, Meshuggah and Dream Theater, man. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but that has me extremely excited, actually. And both will probably feature eight string guitars. How about that? Now, another very newsworthy piece of news that I found is that it's from Total Guitar, by the way, the magazine. Total Guitar created a scientifically perfect guitar solo. Here's what it sounds like and how to play it. So basically what happened is that uh, people got to vote for the 50 greatest solos of all time and Total Guitar investigated to create the perfect guitar solo. We're gonna check it out right here. The Franken solo. Let's check it. Let's, let's listen. Hang on. Listen to that intro. Aha! 
Okay. <laughs> now this is unplanned. Just for reference, listen to this. Go back. My song. So there you go. It seems that I might have followed this formula or whatever it is, but <laughs> okay, let's uh, continue listening. Sorry, that was just a side note. Let's hear what's what's going on here. All right, that's cool. Some tapping, band tapping, you know. You know we'll, we'll, we'll. Let me show you what bend tapping is. If you did not know what bend tapping is, it's basically like this. Pretty easy, okay? I'm trying to educate, okay? Calm down. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's my favorite one right there. Dude, basically, they're doing all the techniques that I use in my solo. Almost works. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so there you go. Apparently, this is the perfect guitar solo right there. So, made by uh, Total Guitar. You can find the tab here, but basically it covered every technique that I use <laughs> when I'm making solo. So we have the classic, you know, the bend tapping. I don't do that too much. Uh, what else was it? Okay, let's not do this. So basically this solo is uh, made from Comfortly, Numb, uh, and then Bohemian Rhapsody, Crazy Train, Highway Star, Free Bird, Sweet Child of Mine, Fade to Black, Hotel California, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, Sweet Child of Mine, and Beat It. There you go, perfect solo of all time. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section right there. Engaging. That's what I like. And then, my good friends, what's the news? Thank you. Holy shit, I was just about to head home. I was playing VR chat <laughs> with my friends and I got a, a shipment. Quarter a ton of what I think is going to be albums. So I'm really excited. Holy shit. No one's here to help me. That's okay. I've been waiting for the vinyls for a long time. The CDs obviously a lot quicker to uh, produce and print. This is uh, another win in my opinion. So Holy shit. I'm super excited, even though these are not the vinyls, it's still one of the main components of when you release an album. See, these are kind of important for a lot of people, let's just say that. This is the first time I'm seeing the album. Oh, I hope it's good, man, I hope it's good. Let me see, here it is. Ooh. Okay. Shit. What? Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks so good. Dude. There you go, man. Fuck 
yeah that looks so good guys holy shit it turned out way better than i thought holy crap look at that cd look at that cat man look at it this is one of the final pieces of the puzzle right here uh obviously the vinyls are the last piece the good thing about this is that now i can finally start signing all of these for everyone who pre-ordered i'm just gonna sign everything so I mean, that gives me a little bit of time before we actually ship out things and before we get the vinyls. So yeah, man. Holy shit, that makes me excited. Okay, so this is the day after and I signed about 1,000 of these now. Oh, this is the easy part. You know, the hard part, that is, you know, preparing for the album, making songs, recording music and whatnot. But right now, I'm making some lunch. I'll show you my lunch routine right here go to the kitchenette so something I eat every lunch here at the office is basically four eggs and instant noodles <laughs> has all the nutrition that you need for a good lunch but yeah it's also sort of cheap like a inexpensive lunch and also I don't have to figure out what to eat every day for lunch so yeah mm -hmm. look at that shit Look at that. What a sight to behold. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna eat my lunch while I'm signing more CDs, by the way. All right, so, you know, I've been trying to kind of you know, be very, very transparent of, uh, you know, the process of making an album and, you know, from start to finish. And uh, if you've been following my Son of Ola, you know, you probably have gotten a glimpse of, you know, every process of the album from writing, from recording drums, you know, to ship stuff and print or whatever. I mean, I, I've been incorporating that into Son of Ola. And uh, as I got the CDs here uh, this week, I was like, you know, the vinyls are really, really taking long. I hit the uh, printing firm up and they are incredibly delayed. So uh, I w I've been kind of waiting for the vinyls to be done so I can start ship out the albums before I set the release date. But now I feel like, you know, the vinyls are going to take a little extra time. So I figured I would set a release date for my album Star Singer. So I've set the date to April 26th. <laughs> April 26th, okay? Mark your calendars. It's a Monday. Why is it on a Monday? Uh, I don't know. I figured Mondays would be the absolute last day any band would pick to release an album. So that's why I release an album on a Monday. So the sad news is that the vinyls are delayed and I'm not sure when they're gonna show up, maybe in May or something like that. So if you ordered a vinyl or an ultimate edition, you will have to wait a little bit longer. I'm sorry for that. If you have a problem with that, you can contact us through the shop and uh, we'll see if we can help you out, okay? But in the meantime, we're gonna start ship out the other stuff, like the guitarist edition and you know the, the CDs in general. So let me show you this. This is the CD right here. Look at that. I sign all the CDs, of course, and all the vinyls. There's a cat in there. Look at that cat. It's a beautiful cat. Uh, if you bought a guitarist edition, you also get one of these. It's a picture of me that's signed. You also get this, the Star Singer tab book right here. Look at this beautiful asshole right there. And uh, sticker, sticker for the guitarist edition and the ultimate edition. And then you also get the guitar picks. Check out this pick tin right here. This is so cool. I'm so proud about this pick tin because it's not, you know, it's, it's a small little box with a lid. And then, obviously, Dunlop guitar picks inside, six of them. And, and for the guys who ordered the Ultimate Edition, obviously, you're also getting the uh, the, the, the necklace and uh, or keychain. I'm using it as a keychain because I'm not a necklace -y kind of guy. But you get this little thing right here, which I thought was really cool. So the guys who ordered the Ultimate Edition, you have to wait a little bit extra. I hope that's okay. Uh, the album will drop. 26th of April, guys. I'm really, really excited. I, I will have another single dropping in uh, in a bit, okay? So you can have something to listen to. But yeah, so Star Singer will be available on all streaming platforms April 26th. 
How about that? And I'm sorry for, you know, spamming about my album a lot, but this is basically the most direct way possible for you to support what me and Luis and uh, we are doing right here because this is this is this is as direct of a product of mine as you can get. This is my music right here. So, if you don't fancy the physical stuff, there's the digital Spotify and iTunes and Apple Music and whatnot and all that you can get. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you. You're amazing. Sunday with Ola Rift Challenge. What's up? So the idea with the Sunday with Ola Rift Challenge is that I create a riff, you know, the intro of the Sunday with Ola. Uh, for every week I try to write something just to challenge myself to and push myself to write something every week. And then I upload those drums and you guys can make your own riffs to those drums. And I watch you on the next Sunday with Ola. Okay. I have to be completely honest, there's so many contributions out there and so many entries that I'm starting to lose the control <laughs> a little bit. I, I just can't watch them all right now. Before I was able to kind of watch everything up until a point before I record, uh, started recording Sunday with Ola. But as of right now, I can't really keep up. Which is a good thing because that means a lot of people are participating in this challenge. So I decided, this is just just a test, okay? But I decided to open up a subreddit, a Swola Riff Challenge Entries, or was that the name? I have to check. One second. So the subreddit is called Swola Riff Challenge. It's on Reddit, okay? Go post your entries there, go listen and check out other people's contributions, and then maybe, you know, people will push thumbs up, thumbs down, and whatever becomes the most relevant will pop up on top and maybe I can go through, you know, maybe 50% of the entries. How about that? Is that a bad idea? Just try to give me a better idea if this is the worst idea you ever heard. But uh, I'm just trying to make it easier for me. I, I don't know. Well, let's just try it out, okay? I'm just trying to kind of find a good way of me to keep up with the stuff, okay? Uh, but we're gonna watch some riff challenges from last week, okay? First up, we have Matty738, okay? ERS guitar. What guitar sound is this? I like his sound. What is it? Roots. Okay, so it's uh, the uh, the ML Sound Labs plugin. Ooh, sweet. Swedish. Sounds Swedish. This guy's probably Finnish, but anyways, you're saying. Well done. That was Matty738. Uh, where's he from? I guess he's from Finland. Just a small little educated guess. Next up we have Karsten Stepanovic. Oh shit. Oh dude, this makes me so happy. Look at his face, man. That's a beautiful gem right there. I'm guessing a Kemper. This guy. Yeah, man. <laughs> what an I dude. I love this guy. Oh, he has almost a thousand subscribers. Go subscribe, okay? Awesome. That was Karsten Stepanovich. That was amazing. Thank you. Okay. Last but not least, we have Darian Maslumi. My band Blackwater Bur Burial. Shit, okay. Ooh. Oh. oh no. He's too good. What's up with setting the bar, man? <laughs> holy shit. Why are these guys so amazing? The <coughs> Destroyed. Holy shit. Well done. If you want to have a chance to be on the Sunday with Ola uh, this next week, download the drums in the description, make your riffs to those drums, upload it to YouTube, maybe use that new subreddit. 
Great. All right. Oh, shit. Pure vomit there. All right, we're gonna go and continue on the absolute hate spiral regarding riffs that people out there hate. And people might be wondering, why are we spending time on negativity on this channel? This is a positive channel. Well, in my opinion, to be able to understand positivity, we also have to sort of embrace the negativity and the hate, you know? <laughs> to make a positive thing happening right here. So that's what we're doing. We're channeling our inner hate for uh, shitty guitar riffs. And we're starting with... Who is this? Andrew. I thought he was sitting on the toilet for a second, but he's not. Okay. Let's see. That was a very quick one. Let's listen again. <laughs> it's Come As You Are by Nirvana. Okay, apparently he hates this riff. That's Andrew right there. No, he doesn't hate Nirvana. You just hate hearing this every time you walk into a guitar store. That's very, very true, by the way. Just saying. It's, uh, it's actually really annoying. Next up, we have Wesley Trott. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, shit. More Nirvana, really. Well... I can see he has a Dream Theater shirt on. You know, see from memory two. Uh, Metropolis part two, sorry. So, you know, Dream Theater and Nirvana doesn't really clash that well, just saying. So, oh, he's gone. That was uh, Wesley Trott. Well, <laughs> well done. Uh, okay. Who's this guy? Liam Heyman. Okay, what's up, Liam? The riff that I hate the most? Metallica, man. Dude, that's a great sound. Back. What happened? What the f is this? What happened? Okay. The riff that I hate the most? Dude, that's a pretty good chug right there, Liam. Thank you so much, man. Liam, not liking. Enter Sandman. Is that Enter Sandman? <laughs> Uh, it's just me and my memory, man. My memory fucking sucks. Uh, I hate song names. I hate remembering song names. Okay, Wayward Soul. What's this? <laughs> what is this? Disturb? <laughs> oh, he's not a fan. It's a fan of the fart, though. <laughs> Holy shit. Disturb. I hear you. You know, done with the sickness. But it really made the band Disturb what it is today. A huge ass fucking band right there. So, yeah. Okay, what's this guy? Music for live. Or live. Music for live, maybe. <laughs> American Idiot. Oh, man. You know, there's just something about a kid sitting in a bedroom playing guitar that makes me really just warm. You know? That's where it all starts, man. Usually, when you're a teenager, you start in your bedroom, you sit on your bed fucking playing guitar. Holy shit. That, that just... This... What he's doing right here? Stuff like that inspires me. That's really cool. But he absolutely hates this song. By the way, it's Green Day. But that's okay. It's okay to hate. Next we have Guillermo. Hey, Ola. This is Gizmo all the way from Texas. And this is the riff that I hate the most. What is it? I don't know what this is. Any stuff I don't like, I don't like. Aww. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, hey, Ola, this is you know it's a riff that people hate when the whole family hates the riff. Just saying. From Texas. So there you go. That's Guillermo. But, okay, 
I also challenge you guys to uh, record the riff that you love. So we're going to end on a positive note, okay? And I'm going to show you Stephen Good. He sent me his favorite riff that he likes to play. So let's check it out. Yeah, man, a riff I love is As Blood Runs Black in Dying Days. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. Oh, oh shit. Don't waste all those licks, man. That was sick. That was Steven Good with his favorite riff. I didn't hear what it was, but it was, uh, what? Yeah, man, a riff I love is As Blood Runs Black in Dying Days. Dying Days, As Blood Runs Black. Okay, awesome. Let's continue on with this negative hate spiral with positivity. Upload riffs you hate or riffs you love to YouTube. Call them Swola Riffs I Hate or Swola Riffs I Love. I'll check you out, okay? Awesome. Ola Tasting Shit. What's up, everyone, and welcome to Ola and Louise Tasting Shit. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy alive. Just saying. Uh, just a side note. Uh, today, we got a package all the way from across the world, as far as you can get, I guess, from Sweden. Yeah, more or less. Or uh, uh, Australian. Australia. Awesome. We got a down under box that looks like this. I feel sorry for the Australians. They're always upside down. <laughs> yeah, mm, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, when they're... I just thought of something. When they're downloading, they're it actually uploading. uploading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Phew. Holy shit. Hi, Ola and Louise. Thanks for entertaining us on Sunday with Plugo. Riffs and tasting horrible shit for our amusement, which is the best part. We haven't really been tasting shit in a while. No. Just good stuff, sweets. man. <laughs> Please enjoy these Australian treats that should not be too shitty from an American and a Brit stuck in Sydney, Australia. Oh, shit. Okay. Keep Mel Faith alive. You have a fluffy friend for Plugo in the box. Oh, yeah, there. The okay. pictures. Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you so much, by the way. Let's uh, let's open it up, man. What's what's in here? Oh, okay. Here's uh, Australian Plugo. Aww. Uh, you can have that. Okay. That's for you. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's just... Can I show it like this? Look at that. That's... Socks with koalas on them. What? That's cute. Ooh, what are these? Two balls. The balls, cookies. Very, very uh, suspicious. Sus. Okay. Where's this? Oh, is this a... Oh, look at this cup. Look. Can you see? Okay, we're gonna unpack all of this and then we're just gonna... Oh, suck for you, suck for me. Oh, they're very cute. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of stuff. Where do we even start? I think we have to oh, split wow. this up uh, yeah. somehow. Uh, what do we do? Just pick? Try the socks? Stefan? <laughs> Don't question, just do. <laughs> just one sock. It's rock the sock, baby. I know you had eyes for these balls <laughs> really fast. Just saying, like uh, shockingly fast. They caught my eyes. Uh, Ansac Byron Bay cookies. Okay, let's try a ball then. That's where we start. Cook ball. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Small little ball. Like You're good with the balls. Coconut. Coconut, yes. They're named Ansac. This is good. It's nice. Grumpy Tiny Teddy. That's a... He's grumpy. I wonder if these are actually typical Australian I, stuff. I or? know what the Tim Tams are. Because yeah? the, everyone's like, oh, Tim Tams. <laughs> oh, look at Tim Tams. Oh. <laughs> okay. Exactly like that. Oh. Yeah, they're exactly like that. Oh, it's a teddy uh, oh, bear. It's a teddy bear. Yeah, they're yeah, just they're plain. Very cookies. plain. Very plain. Mm -hmm. But thank you. I've been eyeballing this. Wagon. Wagon. Wheels. Wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. Or wagon. Wagon. <laughs> wagon wheels. It's soft. There you go. <laughs> You're not gonna like this, I think. Okay. It's not very sweet, but it's strange te texture. <laughs> wow. So no. good with the compliments. No. It's not very good. But it's also bad, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I see this, Vegemite Shapes. This, do you know what uh, Vegemite is? That's like yeah. an Australian thing yeah. that they put on toast and whatnot. I took a spoon of Vegemite. 
apparently you're not supposed to eat like a no. spoon because you don't do I that with, on, I mean, a, on a toast you, yeah on a toast something yeah. like that it's the same with you know you just don't take a spoon of butter and like mm -hmm, no, this is so no. good no it's not good oh <laughs> and you know shaped as they're australia. shaped as australia how Can you about find that any test Tassie shaped oh, like Tasmanian. Tasmania? Okay, we have to search for the Tasmanian ones. <laughs> I've, this is Tasmania, I think. Or is that no, a broke, broken, broken Australia? <laughs> that's pretty good. That's good. Oh, these are also shapes. These are the originals. These are barbecue flavor, but they're not uh, Australian shaped. No? 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 What do you mean, no? <laughs> Didn't look like you no, uh, enjoy uh, it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> it tastes a little bit like Lieve Paste. <laughs> Okay. You know? Yeah. Uh, Swedish word of the day. Swedish word of the day, liver pasta. Let me Google that. Uh, like pasta. Last but not least for today, shall we try the burger rings? Look at that. There's a burger ring for you. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> big burger taste. So it's the big burger. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Uh, they're good. Aren't they? Wow, that was amazing. Let's just end it at that and continue in the next Sunday with Ola. How about that? That was great. Yes. Thank you so much again, Australia. That was incredible. Thank you. See ya. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching Sunday with Ola. I hope you had a great, great time. And if you're interested in ordering my album, I'll put a link both up here and in the description of this video. You can go pre-order the album. Release will be April 26th. We will start to ship out a little bit before that, so people might get their hands on the album before the release date even. And I'll sign all the CDs, all the vinyls. Don't worry about that, no problem. Guys, thank you so much for watching. All you beautiful members out there, mwah, I love you. See you next time, bye. <laughs> my, boy's, my boy's boss man tonight. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs>